Hello everybody, I am Kush and Freedom has a few games available for us for free so that we can make a few videos and this is the first of that series let's call it series and I'm gonna do a review but it's gonna be a very informal, very unprofessional and that's probably what I'm gonna call this series unprofessional reviews I'm just gonna play the game and say what I like, what I dislike maybe give it a little rating, I don't know I'm just gonna <laughs> gonna go with the flow and this is 8-bit boy, it's a uh, well, it's a platformer and you can clearly see that this guy, it's a one man, one man game, one man company, it's awesome blades, and this guy loves platformers, it's, <laughs> I haven't played the game but from, just from the title screens, and, I don't know, let's see what this is about, let's go to the settings, pretty standard stuff. A slide for, for music and SFX. You can mute, can go full screen and non full screen. You have the gamepad and the FPS counter, and you can set your keys. I'm not gonna do it because I like how, how it is. But if, if you think my cursor is quite so, it's because I'm playing with the gamepad. It's really weird that it's like a like I'm using a, key, a mouse. I don't like this, but oh well. Well, let's go jump to the game. Create. Yes, let's go. Let's go normal. I'm a kind of a pussy. Well, this is kind of depressing <laughs> music. What the hell? When was the last time I was truly really happy? When was the last time he woke up in the morning and thought of in his, to himself? This is going to be a good guy. Good guy? <laughs> good day. <laughs> Finally passing his, em his em exams one year ago just to be faced with unemployment. Didn't help either. This was not what he had expected at, the, at all. At the age of 32. Well, he felt that he had accomplished very little. Of finished education, courses and the old jobs in between weren't something to be proud of. He thought it certainly wasn't how he had imagined his life would be when he was a kid 20 years ago, tossing long ago, like in another lifetime. What the hell? This is really depressing! He tried to mem remember how life was back then, back when he used to play games all day long. Oh boy, this is what I do. <laughs> On a trusted console. He got it for his 10th birthday and oh, what a joy it was. He simply loved that thing and dreamed about growing up and making games himself one day. It does seem so silly now, knowing he has to grow up and take responsibility. He wondered if he still had it in the basement. Would it even work after all these years? He felt an urge to go look in the basement right away. I almost felt, felt excited about finding it and could even remember the last time he felt that way about anything. This seems like a pretty personal game. Damn, this is quite heavy for a platformer. He went down in the in the dark basement, the air was cold, thick and moist. It made him a bit nauseous and lightheaded. He looked through what seemed like an endless number of moving boxes, crates and bags. But finally found what he, had, it, he was looking for. In the far and darkest corner of the room. The old 8-bit console. So many good memories, just think about field him. About... Just thinking about... But I... Just... Some... I don't know. Filled him with bitterness and nostalgia. He looked through some of the old games. Most of them were a little fuzzy around the label. And some even had mold on them. Suddenly, he was struck with fear looking at the last game cartridge in the pile. There's nothing? It seemed completely new and shiny. It, had, it even had that harsh chemical smell. To it that new plastic usually has. No dents or scratches like all the, all the other games. But was filled with... But what filled him with fear was the empty label on top of the cartridge. It had the print and pattern of the other cartridge. But it was missing the title. As it was just waiting for someone to fill in it. To fill it in! He couldn't explain why... It this filled him with pure 
Hearing this, it just did. A tiny and very sub subtle voice inside him whisper whispered a chanting. Over and over again like an echo from beyond. Like he had no saying in this, he started rigging up the console to his old color TV to try the uncanny cartridge. Somehow this was what he had to do. Somehow, somehow this was his fate and destiny. Wow! This is a really long intro! After setting up the console on a old dusty office desk down in the basement, he plugged in the strange looking cartridge. The cartridge didn't need the usual push. To go all the way down in the slot, it felt more like it was pulled right in, like two magnets just before touching each other. Just before flipping the wall switch, he hesitated just long enough to realize this was a very bad idea. A very bad idea indeed. Then he flipped the switch. Well, I have to say, I really like the intro. And yeah, this guy really likes... Okay, I'm not... Tutorial! Am I gonna do the tutorial? And it was a really good intro. And just by pressing the portal I'll shut the times, okay. Oh, can I... Okay, yeah, this... Yeah, this plays like just like Mario, so. And it has the Mario so so sound effects. Sound? Sound effects. I don't know what that is, but I want it. Please wait, I'm waiting. All up, swirl on. Just the tile mark with the shooting ability. So, how the hell do I shoot? Okay, yeah, this is... I'm not gonna call it a Mario clone, but... B? I'm pressing X to, to shoot. Okay, that's cool. Oh boy, this is gonna be... Oh, there's Bouncy! Nice. I have to kill all of them? Oh well. This is gonna be fun. Okay. Killed one. Hey, there's one missing. Oh boy. Okay, fuck it. Well, this is an interesting mechanic. But that, that, this has a really... Down place so let's to run and jump. Okay, a running mechanic. Oh, I gotta love those. It's gonna be a hard jumps. Okay, this is it says a a really uh, deep Mario feel. Maybe that's what I want to say. Are you gonna poop on me? Are you dead? Oh. Okay, so oh I can shoot twice now. Nice. I have to go this way. Oh 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 you almost fucked me up. But they did, this the guy was in clearly inspired in old platformers and that's okay with me, I like them as well. But it's not just a clone, even if it has the Mario points effects, sound effect. But yeah, this guy works. So what do... Oh! Fireballs! Now! Oh, nice. Yeah, it looks good. It's good, good, looks good. It's a pretty funny guy. I mean, I, guess, I think it's quite long from the steam page 
like 300, I don't know, 300 worlds or something like that, or 300, 300 levels. Level cleared. And yeah, it looks fine, and it's like four dollars or no, well, it's four euros. It on on Europe, but it's on sale at the moment, like one something, one dollar and something. So it's I would call it worth. It's a simple game. There are a lot worse <laughs> games that you can get for. Four dollars, and there's a lot of love put in it, into this game for love for making games and for platformers. I want to say this a lot. Come on, this guy clearly, clearly loves platformers. Ooh, secrets, and that's cool when someone, ooh, extra life, loves something. Oh boy, oh boy, as much. Oh, can I do this jump? As much as this guy, you have to. Ah, I died! Oh, you started. Oh, there's no checkpoints. You have to praise him. That's what I want to say. Come here, you little bitch. How many lives do I have? Two? You fucking... Kumba wannabe! Okay, let's see... Ah! Oh, another! Nice! Can I get something to shoot? Please? Oh, I don't want that! Ooh... <gasps> Fuck! God damn it! Now for the pros and cons of this game. Pro, it has a uh, retro feel for me. It's a good thing. For some, might, for others, might not be, but they are not the target for this game. Clearly, the developer has a, a love for uh, platformers of old, and you can clearly see it. it takes an inspiration of well, it takes inspiration from Mario. Come on, it's and I like it. I like it. I love. I love playing those on the on NES on. SNES, on Mega Drive and so on, on arcades, I love, I love playing those games, I, I still do, and I love when games, I use love a lot, I'm just loving, just love everywhere, and I really like when, when developers try to recreate that feeling, just the nostalgia working to me, and another pro, the controls, it's really solid, solid uh, platformer forming, solid jumps, it responds very well, so good job. Um, I like the sound effects, even the one board from Mario. Just works well with the game. Now for the cons, okay, the biggest con for me is the art style. It's not inspired, it's pretty simple. Not that simple is bad, but just feels kinda bland. Just could just could there's just so much more that could be done in the backgrounds, in the 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 main character, just a just a standard uh character from a platformer, you know, just like looks like the guy from Pong. I think it's Pong or Pang. Just could just was more into it. The enemies kind of feels a little out of place with the birds and the snakes. But to me, just yeah, just to me. But it's not a really big deal. And and the 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 art or the in the coins in your time in the, your high score just feels it could could need. Needs a lot, uh, not a lot more work, but something else, something more, some more care with, with it. But that's my, not my biggest, it's probably my only con. And this is a one man game, one man game, one man company. And it's, I am impressed. I, I have, I have to be impressed. 
and this guy has so much for for gaming for making games and you can see it uh, I only play two levels but it's a good game it is a good game Need some work here and there, but it's a ship game, and you could get a lot worse. Just saying. And for the score, I give it a okay out of a banana. That was Eight Beat Boy. I am Kush. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and drop a like and comment. Do you like my reviews? <laughs> I hope you do. And I hope to see you guys in the next video. See ya!